it's time to dish with D. That's me. Bonus, cook with D because I thought, you know, when you do something really interesting, you want to share it because A, it might work and B, it might not work out. So if it works out, then it's good. But if it doesn't, then lesson learned. I'm going to make a cracked out biscuit bake. That's what the thing said. But I don't have any biscuits. So how are you going to make a biscuit bake D with no biscuits? Thank you for asking. I am going to make two ingredient dough. I figure a, a two ingredient dough should equal the same amount of points. I put in the recipe builder and my cracked out chicken biscuit bake comes out to four points a serving for six servings. So I think that's a decent amount. I'm not quibbling over it. But I just rolled out two thirds of my dough below. I'm gonna put it in my pan, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna put it in the pan, we're gonna put it in the oven and let it bake a little bit while we put the rest of our cracked out chicken cracked out that's i don't know i didn't make it up i wouldn't call it cracked out i don't know what i mean cracked out beans but who am i we grab my pan and we're gonna put this in there okay let's show you what we have see i have my i'm gonna put a video there we go my dough on my parchment and i said i didn't really roll it perfect it's just gonna be a bottom i personally don't care I am not in any kind of cooking competition for it to be perfection. This needed to be rolled out. I'm going to flop it over and we're going to tuck every um, spray it with part uh, spray. So we're going to rip her. Okay. Let me just peel her off. It's always good to do something odd because we can see, yeah, you know what? You don't have to be perfect in the kitchen. And we're just going to spread it out a little bit like this. Look at that. That is, and I'm going to peel this a little bit and I'm just going to tuck it over here because there's not a lot over here. Look at that. What do you think about that? Crusty! And I'm going to dock it. I'm not sure if I have to dock it, but you know, I'm docking it anyway. And I'm not even sure what docking does. I just know you're supposed to do it when you do pizzas and stuff. So we'll just dock it. Now I'm going to spread a little something something on here. Which is honey barbecue. This is a uh, flavor god seasoning. This is like their rub, but it smells really good. So I'm just gonna give it a little extra flavor. And I'm gonna throw this in my 350 degree oven just for a few minutes while I put the rest of the chicken casserole together. Okay, here we have our bowl. We're gonna put in a can of this 90% fat free creamy chicken. Because, you know, what good thing doesn't start with some creamy chicken? This calls for, um, I think, sour cream again. I don't have any of that around. But, I do, you know what I do have around? Non-fat Greek yogurt, because that's what we all have around. So it's a cup of this as well, but I'm going to just free measure because this is, it does not count on my plan. So I'm going to put what I think is a cup. Ranch seasoning. I'm using the Flavor God. About a tablespoon of ranch. A tablespoon and a half, actually. A cup of Velveeta Shred. I'm using the original Bubby Detroit. And I will measure that because it is cheese. And we all know we get a deal on cheese. Add in the chicken. I want to get that ranch all incorporated. It does call for four slices of I pu I'm putting in turkey bacon. That's what I put in my recipe builder. But if you use regular bacon, by Joe, you can add that. I didn't chop it though, so let's get get her chopped up. Don't you love fluid mouth recipes? I do. Like I said. I only 
had stuff for two ingredient dough. You know what? It's gonna crack and put it easier to tear it in anyway. This is probably the cracked out part. Yeah, so I thought, you know what? Just because I don't have any biscuits, I got plenty of flour and yogurt, so we'll do that. If you have biscuits, you may certainly could use biscuits. I'm not sure what the points would be. Again, I figured this out with two ingredient dough. Alright, put that bacon off. Alright, calls for a couple cups of chicken. I have quite a lot of chicken here. So I'm just gonna see how much I want to use. Let's pour it in as much as you want, because chicken breast are zero. So we'll just use that. About three cups. Okay. Our crust has only been cooking for about a few minutes. Like I said, we're, we're just not looking for it to get done. We're just looking for it to cook a little bit because we're going to layer this beautifulness on it. You could actually put like some veggies would be good in here. I think I would like corn and black beans. But this is on the fly, so we don't have time for corn and black beans. But I think that would go really, really good in here. Is that right, yogurt? Right. Okay, I'm going to go grab my crust. I'm going to put my crust out. We're going to layer this. And then we're going to top it with the little bits of the leftover dough we have. We're just going to throw it on top. Okay, we took our crust out of the oven. Like I said, it's just barely baked. I'm gonna dump all this cracked out crap. <laughs> cracked out chicken. Did I just say cracked out crap? I did. Scrape it all up. And spread as best you can evenly. And this, like I said, makes six servings. You cut this into six. Now I'm gonna go a little bit crazy here, so just bear with me. I have flavor gods. Everything bacon. I'm just gonna douse this liberally because I don't know about you. Everything is better with a little bacon. This is one of my favorite flavor god seasonings. Okay. So now we have the one third of our dough that that I made earlier. Well, two ingredient dough. Two thirds. Two thirds is at the bottom. We are just going to dot. That is it to make like a little itty bitty biscuit crust. Remember, it's already accounted for in the points. Hopefully it's like nice and toasty, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> as evenly as you can. And yeah, it's still sticky. I did not use an egg in this one. This is just equal parts yogurt and flour gold medal I think it's 11 points so there we go I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of this pork stuff. hit the biscuits because you know it's going to be flavored I'm gonna put this in the oven I'm gonna bake it for 30 minutes I'm gonna see how it is I'm gonna let you know when I come back if indeed I did bake it for 30 minutes but we will see I'm not sure because again I have no idea how to bake this but we're going to do 30 minutes. All right, this cooked for 25 minutes, actually, at 350 degrees. I just pulled it out. Looks really good. Look how beautiful those little biscuits got, those little nuggets of deliciousness. So, yep, yeah. cut this into six equal servings for four smart points. I believe it's on blue. I'm not sure about the other ones. Green, you'd have to count the chicken. You'd have to count the yogurt. 
both yogurts because there's yogurt in the biscuits and there's yogurt in the mix. So I'm really not quite sure, but this is on blue. Again, you could sub out regular bacon if you choose. That's You could use regular sour cream if you choose. Of course, I didn't have any, so I used what I had on hand. To me, it's going to be great. I think green onion on top would be really good with this. Of course, I don't have any of that either. It's a hot mess here in my house. But I'm going to take a picture of my serving. I'll show what it looks like for four smart points. Okie dokie, here is my serving. It's one sixth of the recipe for four smart points. I paired it with just some mescaline with some ranch dressing because I figured the ranch dressing, ranch, you know, I was feeling the same thing. And you could top this with some salsa would be really good. Some Greek yogurt would be really good. But how about a little bit of cheese? Add a little extra point. Looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. All right, let's yeah. see. Mmm. I like it. I like the biscuits on top, too. The little nugget. Who doesn't love a nugget? All right. If you enjoyed this recipe, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. You need to see recipes that Dee's making because she's going out of her mind. Crazy. Legit. Have a great day. We will dish another day.